So we're going to translate a geometric figure, in this case a triangle, by being given an arrow which shows us the direction and the distance that we actually have to translate it. So the arrow tells us the direction and the size of the translation. That's important because we need to know not only how far we have to move it, but also in what direction. So the first thing we do is we take the size of the arrow which shows us our translation. We know that's the distance we have to move our figure. So put the point on the back of the arrow and the pencil on the front of the arrow to get a measure of the actual distance that we will be moving points A, B, and C. Once we know the actual size, then we take our compass, we put the point on point A of our figure, and we draw an arc. That arc we're going to label as arc A. The reason we label it is because we need to make sure that we keep track of which distance corresponds to which point. So I put a little A down there from arc A. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the compass again with the same distance set. That's the size of the arrow. I'm going to put the point on vertex B of my original figure and draw another arc. And I'm going to label that arc B. Now the reason I'm only drawing a small piece of the arc, of the arc is because I know that figure is traveling to the right. So I only need my arc over there. So I'll do my third arc. This is arc C. And that's going to be the distance that point C has to travel. So I'm going to label that one as arc C. Now that I've got the distance that my figure will travel, the distance from A to A prime, B to B prime, and C to C prime, I need a second distance to find out exactly where that is. I know that A is exactly this far from the back of the arrow, so A prime will be that same distance from the front of the arrow. So I measure the distance by putting the back of my compass, the point on the back of the arrow, and the pencil tip on point A, and then I bring my compass over to the tip of the arrow and draw an arc. And where that arc intersects with arc A, that will give me my point A prime. Because that point is the same distance from the arrowhead as point A is from the back of the arrow, and it's the same distance away from A as the size of my translation as the size of that arrow. So that intersection there is called point A prime. Remember the prime designation tells us that it's a translation. So now I had that distance for point A. I'm going to do the same thing for point B. So I'm going to take my compass I'm going to put the tip of the compass on the back of the arrow, and I'm going to put my pencil all the way over to point B. So from the back of the arrow to point B, I get that distance, and then I move my compass over, and put the point of my compass on the tip of the arrow, the translation arrow, and I draw my arc. And where that arc intersects with arc B will be the point B prime. It's the right distance given by my first arc to translate, so that's the distance from B to B prime, and it's the right distance away from the arrow because I measured from the back of the arrow to B, and now from the front of the arrow to B prime. So I've done that for points A and points B, and now I'm going to do it for point C. So I put the back of the compass on the arrow, stretch my pencil over to point C to measure that distance, and I'm going to use that measurement to go from the tip of the arrow over to my arc C. I draw my arc, 
and where those two point arcs intersect will be point C prime. So I've got A prime, B prime, and C prime. Now I'm going to use a ruler to connect the dots to give me my translated figure. Now if you've done this properly, you'll see an exact duplicate of your figure translated the right distance. If you don't see an exact duplicate of the figure, you've probably confused a couple of the arcs. Check your intersections and make sure that B prime is along arc B, C prime is along arc C, and A prime is along arc A. And that's how you do a translation using only a compass and a ruler. Hope that helps.